The ongoing battle between VEMA and the Federal Trade Commission will continue in a court hearing scheduled for tomorrow. The drink company is accused of operating a pyramid scheme. Reporter Wafa Shahid has been following this case. Wafa, you talked to one man who relies on his VEMA income? Yes, he says he still believes in the company, but a lawyer I talked with says he's in favor of the investigation. You kicked my whiskers, dude. It seems like a typical afternoon for the Murray family, okay. with homework, e. furry friends, and even some baseball. Oh, nice! But Brian Murray has another story to tell. My name is Brian Murray. I'm a father of four, I'm a nursing school student, and uh, I'm a VEMA affiliate. I'm very proud of it. VEMA, an energy drink company located in the heart of Tempe, has been shut down by the Federal Trade Commission, costing some more than just another job. It was like clockwork, you know, to be able to know that your direct deposit was going to be there every Thursday. The FTC temporarily shut VEMA down under allegations of operating a pyramid scheme that, quote, lures college students and other young adults with the prospect of getting rich without having a traditional 9-to-5 job. Local lawyer David Delosier has experience in cases where a business was accused of operating a pyramid scheme. Well, obviously, VEMA has a huge uphill battle, okay? Uh, they apparently have all their assets seized and their bank accounts and, and all their product and so forth. So um, I don't, unless they've got a stockpile of money somewhere, to uh, fight this, it's going to be very difficult for them to have any success. A portion of VEMA's official response to the FTC reads, quote, The harm the temporary receiver has done and the damage he continues to inflict on VEMA are incalculable. VEMA, put simply, was ambushed. After you put your hard work into something and you pour your heart and soul into it, it's really disheartening. I actually was getting a lot of value out of the product. Tremendous benefits with how I felt. The allegations don't really seem to measure up. While VEMA earned more than $200 million annually in 2013 and 2014, the upcoming hearings will dictate VEMA's future. Live in the Media Center, Wafa Shahid, Cronkite News.